Here we go. I don't know if I'm recording or if I'm not recording, but I'll soon find out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited that you're here because I'm already hearing and I'm already receiving some great feelings around what I'm seeing, hearing, sensing around all of these people that are writing in here. And I recognize some names and then, of course, some names I don't recognize. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jay Lane. I'm a medium out of Northern Ontario, Canada, A. So you're going to hear a lot of A's. You're going to hear, um, you know, the about. You're going to hear all kinds of different little accents like that. So excuse my accent. And I'm also French Canadian, but to be honest, I feel a lot better speaking English. I'm super excited. I don't know how many people here, um, you know, already are, uh, you know, registered because I'm just kind of getting used to this. It says 287 and I think there's 24 viewers, but I could be off about that. But anyways, um, I'm hoping that you're all having a great evening. I'm already sensing some spiritual activity and I wanted to get through to that. But before I start, I want to let you know that if you want to look up a little bit more information about yours truly, just go over to mediumjlane.com and there you'll be able to see my bio, you'll be able to see my press kit. And that basically will tell you who I'm reading for and, and what they have to say about that. I also have some great people that are already trying to call in. But before I start, some people here, um, just to let you know, those that are calling in, you're going to want to check your microphone and also your video because I have to make sure that I can hear you and see you because the last time I did this, um, sometimes we played around for about 10 minutes, you know, trying to, um, trying to get, you know, people to get through and, and repeating calls and stuff like that. So I don't want to do that. And so I want to try to stick to uh, as many messages as I can give out and to also you know, answer your questions if you have any. So yay for Jay, it's a good day. So um, just to let you know, I was feeling very, very strongly around me. And I, I think this is a male, but I, I felt very strongly around me a one or a 10. So that's either January or October. And I would think this is a passing. It could be birthday anniversary, but I think this is a passing around a male who has cancer or had cancer, I should say. Um, I was feeling the feeling around our names, um, so I didn't know if it was connection to the deceased or if there were two people with our names that are deceased or if there were just two people in the family with our names like, you know, Rick, Ray, Roger, Robert, that kind of thing. But I was feeling that very, very strongly. Now, I also get the sense of a number nine connection attached to that. So I didn't know if it was the number nine, eight or 27 and the reason I say that 9 18 or 27 if I take um, 18 1 plus 8 is 9 27 2 plus um, 2 plus 7 is 9 so numbers equaling 9 so definitely there's something to do with that so if you have someone that's passed in either January or October and it has a connection to 9 18 or 27 with our males died of cancer, definitely I have to hear from you because that's too strong and it's going to drive me absolutely, <laughs> absolutely bonkers. Now, I have Estella LaDuke here, so I want to see what she has to say or what she has to, um, you know, ask. But Stella, make sure that your video camera's on. Make sure that I can hear you because we need to record this and I want to make sure that I, you'll be able to hear me and all those good things. So here we go. Stella? Welcome. <laughs> I can't see you yet, but we're just going to give it a second. And there's a whole bunch of people here. So Stella is about to call in. Stella, make sure that you allow your video and allow your, um, your camera as well, your video, your audio. So I'm not getting Stella at all. So the way this works is that I'm going to uh, be fielding calls through so people may have some questions. So someone's asking, you know, how, how, did, how does this work? Um, I definitely have someone around October uh, 
October feeling or a January feeling. So just to let you know, and then I have a 9, 18 or 27 connection to that. And then I have our names that come through around that. I have Phoenix Tears says here, my grandmother died on October 9th. My father's name is Robert. My mother is currently, okay. Um, Phoenix, if you can call in, I don't know if you can call in, but I'd love to be able to speak with you. Here we go, let's see. Phoenix, can you call in? That would be so amazing. In the meantime, if I can get this out to Phoenix, um, I have here, oh, here we go. I'm not getting Phoenix, I'm gonna see if, there's Phoenix, I'm gonna answer Phoenix call, just to see if I can get through, and Phoenix, I'm hoping, there you are, hi Phoenix, how are you? How are you? Fine, I had to get everything set up. <laughs> okay, great. It's so great to see you, by the way. Thank you so much for calling in. Where okay, are you from? Uh, Georgia. From Georgia? Oh, I have some relatives there. I love it. You know, it's a beautiful area. So thanks so much for calling in. Do you have a January or October connection around you with 9, 18, or 27 connected somehow together? Like I said, my grandmother died. Um, when you when you were saying all that, I was like, because I came in here just to listen, you know. And, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, but spirits are mysterious the way they work because what I get is sometimes I'll see all this, but I mean, there's so many messages going through. It's hard exactly. for me to kind of connect. And I'm just getting everything and I'm making sure that this is recording, you know. But the thing is, I get a very strong sense either one or 10. One is January, 10 is October, but right. it's either January or October with the nine, 18, and 27. And, and, and it could be all or both or just one. Well, it's but funny because it seems to go around both. Both of my grandparents. Um, okay. My grandfather, uh -huh. actually, he died on January 24th and was buried on the 27th. Okay, perfect. So I, I would definitely have that, but there's still definitely an October connection. And my grandmother died October 9th. Okay. Her birthday is October 18th. So 9, 18, and then the 27th. I understand. So this is for you, honey. Okay. <laughs> Definitely, this is for you. And I have another one that's claiming that there's someone else too. But this is definitely for you. Now, sore backs, ouch. So if you don't have a sore back, there's definitely carrying too many burdens or stress around you. So you worry way. Mm -hmm. Pardon me? I said I have a sore back, but oh, yeah. I do have a lot of burdens too. You do have burdens, but if you have a sore back, you have, and excuse my French, and I don't mean to do that in French, but holy geez okay like my back is really sore when i talk about that so just watch around your back or, or you know if you pick up something too quickly or if you bend over too fast i almost feel like i lock up so just watch around injuries or pinched nerves around that and if you have that make sure that you see your healthcare professional because i can't you know, I can't give you advice that way. But all I can tell you is that someone talks about suffering a little bit more than really that I should. You know what I mean? Who's got the tingly hands? Tingly hands. Why do you tingle like that? It's driving me crazy. I um, was injured by a medical device. And okay. that's why I have the back problems and I have the tingling problems. Um and um, that's why I have a lot of the stress burdens along with the, you had mentioned cancer and my mother has, is an end stage cancer right now. Okay. Um, I can but understand. I have the tingling. Yeah. I have the tingling. And I, okay. I understand. Yeah. Cause the tingling is quite, it's quite pronounced for me. It's you know, if I'm talking. Accurate. Yeah, it's very, very heightened. Um, can I also ask, was there a closed casket around you or someone that didn't want a viewing? I'm just curious. Or was there someone that just didn't have a funeral? Like in Canada, we usually have a viewing from one to three days. Um, and, and then There was a really, there was one, my favorite uncle 
died and he had a viewing and everything, but I wasn't able to go because of my condition. Okay. That could be it, but not that I'm aware of. To, to be very honest, I'd almost think it's like a closed casket or someone wasn't able to be viewed, but they give me the sense around that. But it could be my other October that I'm waiting for, okay? Because I get the sense there's another October. Now, just a, just a quick thing. Um, I, I keep on seeing, like, does someone have an allergy to shellfish? Or shrimp or something? Or does someone get sick around that? My... Aunt. One of my aunts does. Okay. But just to watch around that, because I get the sense it's a little bit pronounced, or if something happens, they make me feel it's quite a reaction. So just tell them to be careful, that's all. Especially with the holiday season coming, you know, maybe just eating something that she's not aware of. I'm not sure if it would be for her to be very honest. But anyways, in terms of yourself, you know, I'm so sorry to hear about your mom. And it's it's so hard to go through that, especially this time of year. And, you know, your grandma's gone and, and, and different things like that. But just to let you know, this one here wants you to know she's around you quite a bit. Okay. Who's the R name, the male around you? Well, um, my dad's name now, he is still living. Um, but yeah, what's his name? Ron Rowley, R O? R O. What's his name? Let's see. R O. Are there any Robs, Rollies, Rons? There's just something to do with that as well. So I don't quite know what it is, There's but it could be. Pardon me? Randy. Um, no, it would be an R O. That's how they. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of Roberts in my family that I never met on my dad's side. Oh, okay. So maybe that's what it is, but it would be an R.O. name. But I can't validate that for sure because you're not too sure. But you know what? I just want to let you know things are going to get a little bit better for you, hon. So don't worry so much. Everything happens for a reason. Do you ever hear that rumor? All the time from my grandmother and my mother. and yeah, Absolutely. So that's what they say. Everything happens for a reason. Even the fact that you came in here to snoop, <laughs> you know, but that's, that's okay. You know, <clears throat> that's the way it's supposed to be. So I'm really, really happy that you came here today. And I, I hope that you come back again. And if you want to keep on listening, but I'm going to move on to some other people because I do have very strong, another connection, January and October again with nine eighteens and 27s, but I'm thank you so much. You know, Phoenix, for being here today. Yes. I do have one you question. Can. can you, do you have a feeling or anything of a um, jack anywhere around? No, I don't. But it doesn't mean that it's not here or not around you. But at this present time, I don't get J's. Mind you, you want to count like the number 10. I, I can't really think of the 10th letter of the alphabet. It could be that's the way they come through because remember I mentioned one and 10. So one would be an A. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Could be, could be a J. But I'm not, I'm not sensing anything. To tell you that I am, eh, I'm not. Right. I understand. Okay. That. All right. Well, yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sweetheart. Take Have care. A good holiday. You too. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm, I'm so excited to be able to bring through these messages and I'm trying to get Sherry Anderson. Hi, Sherry. I don't hear you, honey. So allow your, your uh, audio. So just to make sure so that we can all hear you because there's too many, uh, there's just too many things coming through. Oh, someone's joking around about a new car, but I don't think I need a new car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um sherry do you have your do you can you get your audio going hun do you want to try keeping that there's there should be an allow there so 
I don't know, you'll have to peek around, but I can't hear you at all. So I'm going to, I'm just kind of, kind of move on to the next person and then just call in once you've gotten that resolved because I'd love to talk to you too. Okay. So I have Stella. Hi, Hi Stella. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. Look um, at that smile. <laughs> uh, I listen to you all the time. I actually went and seen you when you were in Sudbury last. Mm -hmm. And uh, you. Oh, the show? Yes. Oh, uh, you, how did you like the show? Good. I loved it. Um, oh. You zoned in on my sister a lot because she does have a lot of spirits around her all the time. Okay. Um, what we're wondering is my both my parents have passed away. Um, my mom passed away two years ago, December 3rd. Okay. And ever since then, none of the family has heard anything of them. No spirits around us, no nothing, which we used to have all the time before she passed away. Yeah, and sometimes that happens. Sometimes you'll get quietness like that all of a sudden, you know. I know with myself, when my dad died, I thought for sure he was going to be around me all the time. But it was the total opposite. I didn't hear from my father for a good 14 years. And like in people time, it's a long time. But, but in spirit time, really, it's not a long time. It's, you know, here we invented the clock, right? <laughs> so we're, yes. you know, we, we go according to time. Animals don't, but, well, I think my dog does because at 8 o'clock sharp, he was breakfast time. But, but, you know, really, we don't have space and time on the other side. And so for them, they're probably just conditioning themselves. It could be that the others followed them through. It just all depends on the situation. But I get a strong sense around you. It's is the 30th around you as well? Birthdays, anniversaries, or passings? My father was January 30th. His yeah. Birthday. Yeah. Because I get 30th around you. And it could be just like the January and the Octobers that I'm feeling today. Yes. And I'm, I'm January. I was born January 10th. Yeah. So one in 10. So I totally understand. But definitely they would be around. Who's the musician? Who played the guitar or the violin? My, my brother-in-law played the guitar. Okay, so that, okay. And he has but passed. It, yeah, oh yeah. But I have some musicians coming through for you as well, or someone that really enjoyed music, that they played strings somehow. You know what I mean? Yeah. So either violin or guitar, that kind of thing. But yay. And then there's a black and white dog. <laughs> just popped in. So just to let you know that. So, oh my God, that's my that's that's our sky that passed away. A black, she was black and white lab. Yeah, but she's for you. Yeah, but she's a beautiful <laughs> thought. But she says hi. Big oh, tail. Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, but they're happy. Who who had the baby, or who just had the baby? My granddaughter. Ever nice. What did she have? She had a boy. Oh, ever nice. And five or 14 or 23? What's that? Yay. Five, 14 or 23? Well, my son's born May 5th. Okay, so that's him. No, that's okay because May is the fifth month. Or numbers equaling five, 14. One plus four is five. <laughs> or 23. Uh, 23. Two plus three is five. And who makes the freaking good lasagna? Or a layered uh, eggplant lasagna or lasagna? I couldn't, I don't know. <laughs> There's someone here like that too. They make you feel someone just like, just can't make it. It's just like amazing. It's not mine. <laughs> it's definitely not mine. Where are you from, Stella? I was born and raised in Azilda. Oh, in Azilda, eh? Mm -hmm. Is there someone that lives by the tracks? Yes, my sister. Yeah, do you want to say hi to her too? Yeah, that's the one you zoned in on when we went to your show. Oh, Still okay. There. Yeah. Well, anyways, just to let you know, say hi to the one by the tracks. Okay. okay. Um, your mom and dad are around you all the time. It's just sometimes we don't feel it. You know what okay. I mean? Um, I didn't feel my mom for a long time, but I had two other mediums that were able to for me, thank freaking God, because I almost went crazy because I'm thinking, okay, I'm a medium. I should be able to do this, right? I couldn't. And so... I was so thankful for their gifts. I was so thankful for them, you know, being able to connect me with my mom and dad. It took me, and I, I think maybe I was too close to it, you know, and that could be a situation too. You're so close to your parents that maybe since your mom's been gone, it's just kind of dampened it. But don't worry about it. It'll come back. Trust me. 
You I just have so. to, oh yeah, yeah. You just have to believe it. Who broke the plate or who dropped the mug? Did someone just break a plate or talk about broken dishes? No, no, no. I, don't I see that or a green plate. It looks broken. No, no. Okay, if you think of that, buzz me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But anyways, we're just watching around green dishes. But I think it's already something broken. They're laughing a little bit. But anyways, you've got good things coming. Don't worry about it. But if you have January 10th and then January 30th or October 10th or October 30th, absolutely you have them that comes around, you know. And and they also talk, uh, I don't know if someone's got a birthday within a week, week and a half. Uh, and it's not just like like Christmas. But they're showing me cake or celebrations just to let you know, they make me feel happy about it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, my oh, birthday's birthday coming up. <laughs> well, there you go. January well, I, 10th. Which date? January 10th. Yeah, but I think within the next two weeks, they make me feel there's some kind of celebration. That would, that would be almost three weeks, right? Right. Yeah. So there's, there's something to do with that. So they make me feel, yay. So you might hear of that around you. Could be okay. you, but I think it's someone else, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. Uh, yes, it's okay. Good. And don't worry so much about your mom and dad. All right. Everything's all good. Okay. Thank okay. you. Take care, honey. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to just leave you there for a second. Now, um, Sherry, Sherry, I'm hoping, Sherry, that you will be able to come on in a second here. But for those of you just tuning in, what I'm doing is I'm telling people like hear, see, scent, smell, but I was getting strong senses around January and October. I think passings or birthdays, but I think it was passings and numbers nine or 18 or, or 27. And the reason I say nine, 18 or 27 basically is because they equal nine. So one plus eight is nine, two plus seven is nine, that kind of thing. Sherry is not coming on, so and I don't know uh, what's going on with that. So let me see. So Sherry, I'm hoping that you'll be able to get back on and try um, your phone again, but or your uh, your audio and your video. But Sherry, I can't seem to get you on here. Sherry C13. So just to let you know that I can't seem to get you on. So I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. And there we go. So I still have an open seat here. Just to let you know, Sherry, I could try you again, hon, but just make sure that you activate your microphone and your video. So just to let you know that. And I hope I'm not lagging too much, but I want to make sure that I keep on recording this, this program because we're going to go through for a little bit longer here. But anyways, what we're talking about is life after death. If you want to know about life after death, if you want to know about, you know, the soul's purpose, anything like that. You know, feel free to, to interject. I definitely have connections to January and October. And there's Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Okay. You're really muddy. Okay. You're sounding a little bit muddy there. So just to let you know that, where are you calling from? Where are you located? <clears throat> Zelda. So you're in Ontario too? Mm-hmm. Oh, but thank you so much for joining. Did you have any Januaries or Octobers around you? No. No? Anything 9, 18, or 27? No. No? Okay, because that's what I was kind of looking for or putting out there, and I was hoping someone would come through with that. But did you have any questions at all? Do you have any messages from my mom? <sighs> There's three of them together, but I don't know if your mom's in that group. Okay. So, like, right away when you say that, I always get the sense of three musketeers. Do you understand? Um, you know, like, when two, pe three people are buried together or in the same area in a cemetery or three that were together maybe when they were younger, like cousins that are close, something like that. So, right away, I hear that. So, I don't know if that's for you, but I'm hearing that. Right away, I would think also March, okay, or... Number three, uh, number 12, number 21, or number 30. 
Can you connect to that? Because if not, I'm going to go to my next person. 12 was the day my mom passed. Okay, good. Because there's definitely like a three feel to it. And 12 is a three. So, and so is 21 and so is 30. So can I ask, is there someone that eat a lot of pretzels or is eating way too much salt? I'm just curious. Not that I know. Did someone have a lot of swelling or a lot of edema? I'm curious. No, no. Even passed away? No, no. Okay, no, I see that. So there's something to do with that around, I would think around you somehow. But someone shows me a swollen face right away and I don't think it's an accident because they're showing me pretzels. So if that's not you, it could be my next person calling in. What happened to your mom, Sherry? She passed from cancer. Is, is there someone that had something wrong with the chest area? Uh, she did. Was it cancer in the chest or in the breast? No. Where? What was wrong here then? <clears throat> she had fluid in her stomach. Okay. That was pushing up. Oh, okay. So she had trouble breathing then. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can understand. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you there, there's difficulties or there was difficulties around. And I don't know if you're like a super sensitive person or if you take things to heart. And don't don't take this the wrong way, Sherry. It's just the way I'm getting it around you. But, you know, try, try not to do that so much, honey. It just makes me feel like sometimes you can be hard on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, maybe... Um, if someone gets upset, you really take it to heart or maybe you think that has something to do with you. I don't know. It's just, it's just the way I get it. And I don't know if there was like an argument or some like difficulties around a passing between two people. But if that's not you, uh, really, really strong, uh, you know, with, with people just like around a passing, I would think that there's two people really arguing quite a bit, you know. So I keep on getting that and I don't know why. So, no, okay. I just keep on getting that clearly. So anyways, but Sherry, don't worry so much. Don't try not to take things so personally or, or too, too hard too much. You're a really, really good person. You have so much to offer. And just make sure that, you know, that you take care of number one. Okay, hon? I'm gonna move on to cut in here. I'm thinking, one spirit's going to drive me absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling in. Happy holidays. Thank you, sweetie. Bye bye. Bye. Get in. Hi, get in. Bring your camera down. I could just see your cute ass. <laughs> How are you? Good yourself. Oh, now I have another spirit driving me nuts. Okay. Hang on a second. I just have to... They're showing me broken ribs. So... Okay. I'm just going to leave that there. Okay. Can you relate? And by the way, hi. It's so nice to have you here. <laughs> Can you relate to January or October? Yes. Oh. Thank God, because it's going to drive me absolutely crazy, okay? Is there 9, 18, or 27 around you somehow? 18. Okay. What dates are they? I'm going to write this down. So January 10th would be my mom's birthday as well as my brother-in-law's birthday. So brother-in-law is January 10th? Yes. Okay, so that's 1 and 10 then. So I understand. And, and what's the birthday is October 18th. So October 18th. Are you related to the first person that called in? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay, because we had the same dates. So that could be a pattern from spirit tonight because we had January 10th with one caller in earlier. And we had, um, I think, something to do with the 18th and then the 27th. But anyways, can I ask you any um, July 2nd to the 20th around you? Uh, no. Any uh, February 7th? Uh, February, yes. What is that? February 13th is my husband's passing. Oh, okay. What's seven? Is there someone in July or on the sevens? Just curious. Not that I can think of, no. I keep on seeing a seven, so hang on. So 16 or 25? No. Okay. I keep on seeing a seven for some reason. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. 
Now, I need to ask you a couple questions because there's two things bugging me, okay? I have someone that makes me feel that they had a problem here. I have a pain in my chest somehow, but for some reason, nobody picked it up right away. Like, I almost feel like it's in my chest or in my back. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Is, is there something to do with someone finding out they had a problem here too late? Not that I can think of, no. Okay. So let's just leave that aside for a second. January 10th is your mom? And my brother-in-law, yeah. Okay. And October 18th is? My son. Okay, I got you. Who passed away with an issue in the chest area around you? I really don't know. I don't have very many people that have passed away. Oh, my grandpa. Okay, because like I'm thinking I'm on drugs. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. Because <laughs> I, I, I father, it's just it's been a long time. So yeah. I, and even if it's been a long time, even if it's been 50 years, trust me, they're gonna come through, you know? But there's definitely something to do with that. Was there someone in April too? Or on the 4th, 13th, 22nd, or 31st? On the 27th, now that you go back to the 27th, that's the day of his passing. So that oh. makes sense. Okay, so that would make sense. Because sometimes it's like that. People don't, you know, get it right away. But don't worry about it. So long as you write down these dates, okay? But that one comes around you quite a bit. They make me feel there's like shared names in the family. So to what sense, I'm not sure. But they want to say hi to the shared names. Okay. okay. They make me feel somewhere in the family. Someone took someone in. Don't know when. Could be like 50 years ago, but like adopted or fostered kids somehow. And they make me feel that someone is going to be rewarded for that. Okay. So I don't know who would have taken in the kids. Can you relate to that? Not really, no. They make me feel like some Pardon? friends have. Some friends have. Oh, okay, but they make me feel this is family-wise. This is a little while back. So it could be cousins going in with other cousins and uncles and aunts and that kind of thing. But that's what they make me feel, okay, because there's definitely a connection to that. But anyways, you have some good luck coming somehow. Holy jeez. Did you apply for a new job or something? No, no. No, I've been you have yay. Pardon me? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, but you have some yays around you. So if you applied yourself, get in, I'm going to tell you right away. They make me feel that there's celebrations around you. So good for you. Okay. Now, whereabouts do you live? Are you in the Ontario, like Northern Ontario region as well? Yeah. Okay. Is there someone that lives just past Barrie or just before you get to Toronto? Is there someone to do with that around you? No. Is I went to school there. You went to school there? Okay, so that's you then. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and is and is there like a, a June connection to you or or, uh, or even Gemini around you? Just my, husband. my husband. Okay, so that's okay. Because like the thing is, if that's your husband, he comes around you quite a bit. That's the one that would have passed in February. Yeah. He comes around you quite pardon me? He's always around. Oh, yeah. So the thing is, I would get the sense that you talk to him even inside your head, okay? So you could be at the doctor's office and you're having conversations with him. So I'm okay with that. The task driving me nuts, okay? So if I tell you that there's water dripping somewhere in your house or around you, so it could be like a leaky faucet or underneath the, underneath the sink, there's something driving me nuts. So I know it sounds really dumb, but that's the way they talk, okay? <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, we flooded our basement. Yeah. So and there's always worried about the water. Yeah. So always watch out for leaks, but he's laughing. Okay. So that would be him. Now I see, you know, when you take a towel and you twist it. Okay. There's candies like that. You know how you twist them and they make like um ribbon, like yeah. that kind of thing. I keep on seeing that. So I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's marshmallow twisted i don't know if it's candy twisted if it's material twisted but he's showing me that okay so i don't know why do you understand or not i'm thinking licorice for some reason it could I even think. be licorice it looks twisted yep. okay because i did mention candy is that something for him or something for you for me i think yeah uh, okay well maybe just slow it down then okay because oh. <laughs> i see a lot of that okay so just to let you know that. 
Now, did you hurt your fingertips, honey? Ouch. Ouch. No. Did you cut your fingertips? Did someone hurt their fingertips? No. Okay, because I'm hearing that. Just watch around your fingertips. Okay. okay? Like closing doors, pinching fingers. Ouch. Okay. Last two, three weeks, next two, three weeks. I know it sounds silly. I don't think you're going to hurt yourself badly. So I don't want you to be thinking that. Okay. okay. But I see fingertips and they laugh. What happened to your husband, honey? Car accident. So it was a sudden passing? Very, yes. Is it, can I ask if there's a closed casket with him? Yes. Okay, so maybe that was my little closed casket a little while ago. But I'm happy about that, okay? okay. Three days after something happens. So I get something to do with three days or intervals of three days. So I don't know if there's an accident and then three days later you have like the weight or <clears throat> if there's something to do like with three days, but he mentions three days seems to be important. Yes. Why, why do I keep on getting that? Um, it was a big funeral. I'm not sure if, but yeah, it was three days. After. Was it three days long too? We have, we have three days long for my dad, too. Okay. There were a lot know. of people. It was. Oh, but there's something to do with that. And you know what? I keep on seeing, like, um, either pierogies or gnocchi. So do you know what that is? No. Gnocchi is, like, uh, they're, like, little potato pasta balls, like, in, in potato. They're really, really good. Yes. Or, I know. You know what that is? I know what they are, but I'm not sure what the, the what it would, the significance. Okay, or pierogies. Yeah, they show me that. So I don't know why. Okay. But it looks like, I don't think it's ravioli. Because they look like white, they're not red. You know what I mean? So maybe pay attention okay. to that. Or maybe you're going somewhere where they're serving that. But he's around you quite a bit. I'm glad you talked to him. I really am. Do you have any questions you want to ask me? Anything your little heart to um, I think I think... I feel him and I, I know that he's helped me throughout this thing. Like he's always been behind me. And, yeah. and even just like, yeah. today, I just had this inkling of going yeah. online and there you are. So yeah. It's, it's the, really the dates, you know what? It's, it, it is nice to get a message. It's nice to know that they're on the other side, you know, it, it's just, it's just nice to know. Like sometimes I'll talk about silly little things. Sometimes then when I do readings for people, I won't pick up much. Sometimes I'll pick up a lot. Sometimes they'll talk about stuff that happened like 20 years ago. I, I don't know, like I can't control it. You know, people say, well, ask them that. Well, you know, sometimes certain things don't come through, but it's just nice to, to know that, you know, that it, it makes you feel better. That's, that's the reason why I do these things. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy when, um, you know, when I can connect, but you, you've got really good things coming up. So yay for you big time. Oh, it's yeah, Thank you. So don't worry so Thank much. You. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, like I keep on seeing a little white mouse too. So I don't know if you had like a white mouse when you were younger or like a white little rodent or if he did. <laughs> no. I'm seeing that too. Oh, he, he had rats. Oh, okay. Like he little rats. rodents. Yeah. Because I see that too with him. So I thought maybe they were yours, but they're really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I want to thank you so much. And I hope you have a beautiful day and enjoy your holiday too. You too, Mary. Same to you, sweetie. Take care. <laughs> bye. So I'm going to go. Bye, cut in. <laughs> There's Liz. Hi, Liz. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. I'm just going to close off cut in here for a second. Oh. Could you relate to January or October as well, or the numbers one or 10? Uh, no. Aha, uh -huh. so you're not calling for that then. I'm getting a little wiser with this thing. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask? I'm really happy to see you here, by the way. You got that on your, on your iPhone? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm on my iPhone. Um, um, I don't even know what to ask. I'm just wondering what you see or who you, who you might connect with. For, for you? You know what? I'm going to be honest. Like, did you did you just buy a new coat? I'm curious. I uh, know. Did you just buy something up here? Last maybe eight days? No? Okay. 
someone showing me that something new up here it almost thinks like a new coat so i don't know if someone talked to you about that if you can relate to that i'd really love to know because it makes it makes a big difference you know what i mean so it could be just a conversation that you're having from sorry <laughs> just trading off are you at the drive through no no i'm at <laughs> Or just trading shifts. Um, no, not a new coat or anything like that. Someone, someone talks about that. Okay, so maybe I'm just not connecting my wires unless it's for Carol here next. But anyways, pardon me? It may, uh, you were mentioning something about earlier about um, the chest area. And I do have a few family members that passed that was heart and chest. Okay. Do you have someone that passed away really suddenly, like in the living room or in a kitchen? Yes. Who is that? Um, my grandma. And then my dad, too. My dad passed away. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, it makes me feel like it's, a, so that's your dad. Because like, if it's your grandma, I'm not, I'm not picking that up. Where was it? Was it in the living room or in the kitchen? It was in the living room. Like, it was kind of like the living room. Oh, okay. Can, can I ask a silly question? Are there green walls in that house? Is there what? Green somewhere, like on the walls? No. Was there green on those walls before? I think in, in like the 60s and 70s. Does it make you feel there was green on those walls somehow? It's putrid green, but it's green. You know what I mean? Okay. But if that's your dad, I also see one, one makes two. So I don't know if that means like a one, one for me could be just February or two, or it could be like one, one, like 11 or November. Well, you know what I mean? February is, is my, my birth month. Okay. But he acknowledges the one plus one or the one, one, which would be either two or 11 for me anyways. So if that's you, big hello, okay? I also I also see the, I keep on seeing number seven and now I'm seeing it with you too. So anyways, I'm gonna put it out there, seven, 16 or 25, which all make sevens, or it could be July, but I also get that. And then someone talks about maple syrup in a big way or um, corn syrup. So, and I don't know why. Corn syrup, wanna, yes. What, like what is that? Carols and stuff. Um, my mom, like, during the holidays, that's what she cooks, like, with pies and stuff. And with, with corn syrup? With, with, like, the carol syrup. And everybody loved her pies. And, like, that was... Okay. Cool. Yeah, because he's showing me some kind of syrup. And, like, it's either maple or corn syrup of some kind. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Anyways, I, I keep on getting that, you know, around. Hang on a sec. And then someone shows me meatball subs or meatball sandwiches. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Why? It was like the the favorite food from like Subway. For like you? For for me and my dad. Like my dad always bring those home. Yeah, well, they were meatball subs is what I see. And I see extra cheese, by the way. Okay. And it's funny. So I, had, I, had, I had that yesterday. Yeah, well, then he must have been around yesterday because he's mentioning like meatball sub with extra cheese. Oh yeah, that's what I did that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, do you drink a lot of chocolate milk? No. Why do I see it? Um, when I was a kid, I did not so oh. much now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never really liked it, you know, because we had the powder stuff. Yeah, and it was like, just like yuck. protein. <laughs> oh yeah oh can I ask too is there someone that that um had stitches or had a surgery on the left leg yes my Who sister is that? my sister had had surgery yeah when was that it was in October oh okay that might be your connection it could be because there's something to do with 110 or October or, or January. Definitely I here today. I want to say it was like the 25th. It was it could, even happen. that's the number 71625. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, check your numbers and see and, and see if it kind of connects somehow. But yeah. Anyways, and someone keeps on showing me sugar cubes. <laughs> Little sugar cubes. Why? It in my childhood I used to sneak those. 
I would eat them. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. You got caught then. All the time. Um, you did. I did, have, I did have one question. Um, yes, darling. Do you, are you, do you know who visits me at night and wakes me I, up? I would think it's your family. So I would think either your dad or a male figure around you. Is there um is there any way to like have them come during a, a non <laughs> the middle of the night time? You know what? You can actually you can actually ask them to to stop, or you could smudge your room. You know, and and if the smudge does if it's too smoky for you because some people find that's too like strong or whatever, um, you could you can use like a a spray smudge. You know, there's there's space spray smudges that you could use that are not you know hard on the lungs and different things like that. I even sell a product um, with an incense built into my soy tarts um, to ward off negativity. So if you're looking for a really nicely, heavily scented product, though, because I love, I love scent. Yeah, I, 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 do get, I do get awakened at night quite often. And I yeah. feel like someone, I always feel like it's someone wants to play or someone wants to wake me up. It's usually it could be, like it, three it, and four. Yeah, it could be a child's fit or something like that. It could be, but I'm not getting that. You know, can I ask you a silly question? Is there a built-in dresser upstairs? No. Do you ever have a house like that with a built-in like a cabinet on the upstairs level? Um, on the first floor, it was like a built-in closet, but not not a second floor. Oh, this makes me feel like a second floor. Okay. Unless that, unless that might be, there is a house I've never been to that my dad grew up in, and. Maybe ask. Okay. Maybe ask about that, but someone shows me that too, you know, so just to let you know that. But anyways, I want to thank you so much. You know, thank you. Yeah. And I hope you have a beautiful day and a happy holiday season. You too. You too. And uh, I'm glad that I was able to connect for you, but yeah, they're really happy. Thank you. Take care, sweetie. You too. Okay. Bye. Let me see here. So I'm going to go to here and hi there. I don't seem to be getting anybody on there. I'm going to go to Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. I see cars, so someone's in a car. How are you? Good. I can't see you, honey. <clears throat> Hi there. Hello. Are you Hi. driving? I just pulled over. Oh, good, because I was going to give you a pile of poo. No. I was going to tell you, don't drive and do that. Okay, yeah, because you know what, especially when, when talking, especially if you're going to get emotional, you never know, right? So, yeah, just to be careful. So, Vanessa, so nice to meet you. Thanks. Yeah. How can I help you? Are you can you connect to January or October at all? October 27th, my dad passed away of cancer. Okay, because I do have very strong around January and October or 1 and 10 and then 9, 18 and 27 today. Was this sort of like pre-planned for you to come on here today or did you just kind of decide to come in? I'm just curious. Just decided. Yeah, because everybody here that kind of have those connections just on a whim decided to come and see what was going on. And I'm going to tell you, those are the ones I think that need the messages the most, you know. Can I ask you any other V names around you? Vicky, Vern, Valerie, any other Vs? I just need to know. No. You're it? Yep. Were you supposed to have a different first name? Did they have a different name for you somehow? I don't think, I don't think so. so. Any other females in your family supposed to have a different first name? Or did they have a, a spelling error on the name or anything like that? I'm just curious. No, not that I know of. Okay, because someone mentions that as well. Okay, because there's definitely feeling around a female 
the first name because I would think it's like if it's not another V in your your family, it's connected to you. It's got to be. But anyways, if you can connect to that or if you can find out about that, would be awesome to learn that. So I don't know if it would be like your mom, someone like that, that was supposed to have like a, a correction in their name or a first different name. My name is Jay because I go by Joseph Annie Vaughn. But the thing is, my real name's not Jay, but Joseph Ann's too long. You know what I'm saying? It's too difficult for people to, they end up calling me Josephine and uh, it's not for me, you know. But anyways, Vanessa, can I, you know, can I help you connect somehow? Your your dad passed away on October 27th. Is there also a connection to, uh, to I don't know if it's March or, like I keep on getting like three or 12 or 21 or 30. His okay. birthday was in March. Okay, so that would be him then. So I get really good feeling around that. So the thing is, people don't remember dying. 99% of them don't. They know they're dead, okay? They know they've passed on. They don't remember dying. It's like you and I not really remember being born. Thank God, because right, right. it's so difficult, you know. So if there's suffering around, because there's suffering around the male around you. So I don't know if it's your dad or a male that he's with, but there's suffering around that. I get the feeling that someone hangs on to suffering somehow. So I can relate to that because my poor little mom, she was 67, 69 pounds when she died. And she looked like a little skeleton. There was nothing really left of her. So when I think back, the last real vision that I have of my mom is this skinny little thing. You know what I mean? So someone makes me feel that someone hangs on to their suffering. So if not visually speaking, just maybe the suffering, the silent suffering that they did you know, and not to hang on to that so much. So I don't know if that's you or if that's someone around you that's discussed that with you, but that's a very, very first thing that I feel, okay, if we're talking okay. about that. Now, where are you from, honey? Where are you from? Northern Ontario. So you are as well, okay. Have you been to the U.S. or do you have like a U.S. connection somehow? I'm just kind of curious. Um, not recently. How how far along? How far how far ago did you have your US connection? I have a friend in the US, but I'm not no, I haven't that's been not there it. in a while. Anyone no, that's okay. Anyone live on border towns just need to know. Um, like Niagara Falls, Welland, you know, um uh, Windsor, you know, that kind no. of thing. No. Okay, because I keep on seeing that. So I almost feel like someone's going to the U.S. or there's a trip to the U.S. for someone in your family or like going over borders, but I don't think it's just in Canada. So they make me feel something important around that somehow. But you're going to hear about it or it's, it, it concerns you somehow. So it could be like a, a sibling or, you know, on the spouse's side, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? But I'm hearing okay. that too. Yeah. Come on, that thing gone. Just since this October. Oh, so it's still difficult for you. Yeah, I could just imagine it, especially with the first Christmas, you know, it's it's so hard to lose someone, especially around this time of year, you know. So I, yeah. I might my think that these go out to you. Yeah. Is there uh there's two passings like very close together in your family? The two. The two. Um, yeah, it's the talk about that. Turn down Turn your down screen. screen. Yeah, yeah. There's two There's people that died right here. They make they make they feel like they were around, around your dad as well. My brother and my grandmother. Were they within a year? Yeah. 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 So they can get through the long time. Your feet are back. So I hear my socks. Is that better? Okay. Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay. When did they pass? Like how many months in between? Is it like just four or five months? Um, one in September and then the other in July. Yeah. Okay. So about seven, eight months. Wow. I'm so sorry to hear that. But anyways, the two that die back to back were within a year are definitely coming through with that. So just to let you know, so big smiles. 
They do make me feel there's been some hardships around you, but they're going to get better. So you need to believe that, though, because sometimes you convince yourself otherwise. Okay? So make sure that you start thinking of things you want, not the things that you don't want. The thing is your dad's always going to be around you. You're still going to get up at night crying. That's all normal stuff. Okay? I keep on seeing 325, and I don't know why. 325? So unless it's March 25th or 325 p.m. a.m. So just to let you know that or an address, 325. Okay. 3552 so, five, would make sense. It could be like that too, but it's 325 are the numbers. What is that? 352 is his address. That's his address? That would be him then. Because sometimes they'll transpose numbers, but those are the numbers I keep on seeing, three and two and five. Yeah. Hang on a sec. Who's the twins? Who's the twins? I have um, great niece. Twins. Okay. There's good news in that family or there's like yays around the twins. So I hope that makes sense. And did someone just have an eye surgery or um, like an appointment with a specialist, not just like an eye doctor? Like, a, well, of course they're important, but like a specialist for eyes? I don't think so. I see blurry out of one eye just to let you know that. Okay. So if you hear someone having a surgery, they make me feel it's good or it's okay. okay. So, yeah. So not to worry so much about it, just to send them good energy, okay. you know? Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much for calling in, by the way. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm really happy that you're, you're able to relate to, to your loved ones, but they're always around you. So keep on talking to your dad. I'm so sorry for your loss, sweetie. Thanks. Take care, honey. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness, it's already five o'clock. I can't believe it, but you know what? I'm feeling good. So I'm gonna go for a couple more minutes and take just one or two more um, people. But just to let you know, such strong feelings around January and October, the numbers one or 10, January, of course, being the first month, October being the 10th month, or um, also September, which is nine or nine, 18 or 27. Really important connections. I feel really strong connections around our males, like uh, Richard or Raymond or Aroli or Robert, like really, really strong around our males tonight for some reason. So they could be passed away. They could still be here connected to the dates that I'm giving, but I'm gonna go to Sherry and I'm hoping that Sherry has fixed her audio problem. Hi, Sherry. Oh, no, I can't hear you. Hello. Yay, I can hear you. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, and yourself? Oh, good, good, Sherry. It's so nice to see you. Too. Yeah. Do you. Do you connect to January or October at all? I do. January was my mother-in-law's birthday, and October okay. 9th, I lost somebody. Is what? October 9th, I lost somebody. So October 9, you can relate to, I understand. Okay. Can I ask, was there someone, did someone have a problem with walking around you? Yes. Yes. Oh, there is, eh? Okay. And can I ask, has there been any new apparatuses, like walking apparatuses or assistive devices somehow for walking? I just Bra need to know. Huh? Yeah, brought into my home, yes. Brought into your home. When was that? In October. Okay, so again, October. Okay, I understand. Sherry, do you break any dishes? I'm curious because I had that so strong a while ago and it's coming back now. No, not breaking dishes, no. Anything to do with wanting to change like green dishes or something to do with green plates? Uh, yeah, I recently inherited some green plates. Okay, because I keep on seeing like broken dishes and if they're not broken, it's green. Like I keep yeah. on seeing green. When who was who were those from? Can I ask? Um, they were from my friend who passed away in October. So another friend, and and what date in October? October ninth. So that's the friend. Okay, so I understand October the new dish. Or October eleventh. I'm sorry. Okay, but it's still October. There's definitely October or January. And my birthday is in October. And okay. My father's name is Roy. So there's an R O around that. And the three okay, three amigos were 
was my two friends, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and the woman who just passed. They were always together. Okay, so those are the three musketeers or yeah. the three amigos or the three yay, all for one and one for all. Yeah. So that's who was bugging me because you were on earlier. So maybe yeah, that's to, why they were yeah. anticipating you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Did you have some ice cream bag, girl? I uh, know. <laughs> who just had ice cream or, or um, uh, whipped cream or, or yogurt, like cold? Uh, not to know in the house here. Someone's been bad, okay? So okay. someone's off their diet, or they make me feel someone's gained a little bit of weight, or eating ice cream, or or um, milk products like cream, that kind of thing. Okay. okay? Um, so just just to watch around that, Sherry. But you know what? I get a strong sense also about something, and I I don't know if August or the eighth or the seventeenth or the twenty sixth means anything to you, but someone's showing that to me as we're speaking. Like August, if you're dead. August or eight or 17, one plus seven equals eight. August 5th. August 5th. Or, okay, so I understand. And what's that? That was Roy's death. So that's him. Yeah. Okay, so he's coming through with them. Is there another R attachment still alive here on that side of the fence? Yes. yes. Yeah, because they do make me feel there's another R, like connection. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So I feel good about that. Now, um, silly things I'm going to ask you, okay. okay? Have you been at Shoppers Drug Mart in the last three to four days? No, I've been dealing with the shopping bag, though. Shopping I what? I, I didn't shoppers, hear you, Sherry. The Shoppers bag, but my husband was in Shoppers Drug Mart yesterday. Okay, good. Because for me, there's definitely you or the energy of someone at Shoppers Drug Mart because I see the sign. Within the last three, maybe four days. Yes. Well, can I ask a personal question? Ask what he was doing there. Uh, he doesn't want to say. <laughs> so maybe okay. My, birth, my Christmas gift. Okay. So, <laughs> well, maybe just part of it. So I'm not going to say too much either. And then I keep on seeing pot of gold. Okay. So you better have bought a pot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no, it could just be what he's walking through that area, but he definitely had someone with him yesterday if he was at Chopper's Drug Mart. Okay. Okay. So just to, just to let you know, and then around that, I'm getting heartburn. Okay. So just to watch around heartburn around yourself, uh, Sherry, or around your husband. Okay. So just to watch a little bit of heartburn that just within the next few days or whatever, but if it gets bad, make sure to see someone about it. Okay. Now they do make me feel that you've had a lot of hardships, Sherry, in terms of your family. And I'm so sorry about that. Um, I don't know if it's, and, and I hope you don't mind me saying that here, but difficulties and acceptance, difficulties or hardships, like, you know, when you argue with family or you have troubles or tensions with other family members, so yeah. they make me feel that you've got the short end of the stick somehow, or that you feel that way. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand? I understand totally. Okay. Yeah. So um, the thing is, we can't choose our relatives. Right. Okay. We can't choose our relatives. But sometimes we need to let go of that. And although, and don't get mad at me. Okay? <laughs> although I think you say that you've gotten over it, it still comes back and bites you in the tushy. You're still <laughs> feeling it. Yeah. Do you understand? I understand totally. So it's like a little vicious circle for you. So one minute I'm good, I love you. And then the next minute is I love you not. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you, you understand. understand? So, yeah. So you know what? Just to do what you believe is in your heart, you know, maybe to forgive, but not to forget. Don't forget because that's what keeps you safe is, is to not forget. Do you understand? understand? Don't put yourself back there, you know. But let it go because, like, really, I think it eats you up inside. And they just make me feel that's just such a waste of your beautiful energy. You're such a good person inside and out. And you just, you've got so much love to give from and share your heart that you've been so hurt by other people and people that you really, really trusted. Do you, 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 do you get what I'm saying? I know. Yeah. I get yeah. It. So just kind of like just put that there and don't get mad at you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Don't shoot the messenger. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's what they bring up. Um, around teeth, do not cancel your appointments. They talk about a canceled appointment here. Okay. okay. 
So if someone cancels, it could be your daughter, it could be your son, it could be whoever in your family, tell them not to cancel. So they make me feel someone needs to be looked at. I always say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or appointments around like midweek, not Monday, not Friday. Okay. Okay. So they do make me feel around that. Right. Really quick, they show me one, two, one, two, one, two. So I don't know if it's January 2nd to the 20th or October 2nd to the 20th or February 1st to the 10th. Okay. okay. Or I don't know if it's a December reference, but a big hello. Okay. So just to let you know, this is someone different. Oh, so okay. I would almost think a friend or someone that you knew through school. It makes me feel really old. They talk about 1974 to maybe 1979. Oh. Do you understand? So like yeah, it's been okay. a while. Yeah. Someone I knew back then. Yeah, yeah. It's either you or your husband, but it's between, I think, 1974 and 1979. There, so was, I guess, there was a girl. Yeah, so there's definitely someone that says a big hello. Okay. okay. I know who yeah. that is. I think of her a lot. Oh, okay, good. But she's doing fine, or, you know, that energy between those years, like, really, really good. And like they make me feel that like you're not gonna forget them anyway, so I'm okay with that. Hey, yeah. did you fix, did you fix the ditch or did you fix the culvert or did you fix the driveway? Uh, no, we didn't have any problems with the ditch or driveway. Is there someone around you that does really quickly? I don't think so. Just watch around dips then, honey, because they show the tire going down and they oh, show okay. me a culvert or they make you feel the driveway needs to be fixed. Okay. I I think I know of one who we deliver to. I think I know which one it is. Just be careful around your vehicle because I can almost think that there's damage around that. So be careful. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I want to thank you so much, um, Sherry, for you. calling in. Have a nice Christmas. You too, honey. Bye bye. And I'm going to take one more person because we're at about five, uh, five or seven minutes after five, actually. So I am going to take Carol here. And Carol, hi, I hope that you're coming on very shortly. Carol, are you there? Here hi. you go. Hi, Carol. Hi. How are you? Good, you? You know what? I'm, I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day here in Ontario. We have a little bit of snow. Not very much. Where are you calling from? Sudbury. <laughs> Oh, so you're in the same neck of the woods as I am then? Yes. Can you, can you relate to, to our conversation, by the way, for January or October? Well, October, I had my knee replacement. I think it was October 19th or the 20th. Okay. <clears throat> Any passings oh, around um, the 1st or the 10th or January or October? Well, November, uh, January was, uh, Jan January 21st was my friend's uh, birthday. She passed away about five years ago. Oh, okay. Well, we just kind of leave that there. But you know, when you're saying that, I'm not getting that at all. They just put that all aside for some reason. Is someone going for surgery around you? Um, not that I know of, but I'm having a hard time with my hip. Okay. So I, I don't know. Have you gone to see a doctor about it? Yeah, I went and seen one. I got to go back and see the doctor again. I'm going to tell you, this is what I'm hearing around you. So I don't know who this is for, if it's you or someone else. But I just get the sense that there's surgery needed around someone around you. And I'm not a doctor, so I can't make any diagnosis. But the thing is, they make me feel rather good about that. Okay? So, like, whatever it is, it's fixable. But they smile around that, or they make me feel very happy around that. So if that's something that might have to happen to you or to someone very close to you, they make me feel happy. So that's not a bad thing. Not at all. Okay. I get also someone that makes me feel that they had problems with water or dialysis or kidneys. You know what I mean? But they make me feel there's something like that around you. So I don't quite know who that is that's talking to me, but they make me feel that they had problems with that. Okay. So I don't know who that would be for you. Um, can I ask you, Carol, do you have any like Colette's or Claire's or any other case sounding names around you? Um, that's on the other side? Or, or, or around even me? here, like Carmen, Colette, Claire, any other? I had an aunt. 
my aunt Claire, she she passed away quite a while ago. Yeah, because I get that. Do you have a Rita too? Rita? Rita. Um, that's my ex mother in law. She's she's still here. She's still here. Who would be connected to her? There is it her husband? Yes. Oh, okay. Because someone talks about that name. It's got to be connected to you somehow. But let's go to Claire then. But for me, there's something to do with that. Was there someone from Quebec in your family or from Montreal? I'm just curious. Yeah. Who, who is yes, that? I have, Pardon me? I have a half-sister who lives out in Montreal. Oh, okay. But they just, anyways, they want to acknowledge people that live out in Montreal or in Quebec area. They make me feel that there was some sadness around that. So I don't know if there was a little bit of stress around that situation. It's going to get better, but not to get too involved in that. Like, in other words, don't worry so much. But I would think good things around that if you hear about someone like feeling a little down. Okay. Is there a birthday after like January 2nd or 3rd or like the first week of January? Is there a birthday for you guys or in your family? Pardon? Yeah, my uh, com my common law. His birthday is January sixth. So it is the first week of January because I have a mail that comes through for that. Okay, so just to let you know, I've like a mail that makes me feel rather close to him. So I don't know who it is, but they make me feel it's a birthday, the first week of January. They're connected to that person rather closely. They talk about a sore shoulder or a shoulder problem. So I don't know if that would be your boyfriend or whoever's talking to me, but that's, I'm getting that like really, really clearly. Okay. If they make you feel there's something to do with that. Yeah. So who, who is that? Uh, that would be his father. Oh, okay. Cause like, it's, it's pretty pronounced this one shoulder issue or there's like, there's issues around shoulders or upper, like up here anyways, but they do make me feel that. Is there um, Danny or D uh, Andy or Danny? D um, there's an Andy. He's my cousin's boyfriend. Who Andy? Cousin's boyfriend? Was there bad news in that family? Like not that long ago? It already happened. Um, if it's not that, then I don't know what they're talking about. I'm just kind of curious. I'm not sure. No? Okay. Just leave it there. And just another stupid question. i got to ask you this. Have you been close to a Pat Mario's or an Eastside Mario's? I was at Eastside Mario's yesterday for yes. some lunch. Okay. So that's you. Because I definitely have three spirits that were with you at that lunch. Who were you with, the two others? Uh, I was with my friend. Uh, or we, we went out for lunch. It was our Christmas lunch. Okay. Because they showed me two other people. Who were you talking to then, if you're just with one other? Well, there was one waiter that we kept talking to. Okay, because I get the sense that there's like a conversation with three people at one area. Okay. Um, was some, and, 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 you know, was there something that, that you spit out or did you bite on your cheek or something? Or like I see you doing this. It was my friend. She was taking a drink and I said something funny. Okay. So she spit out the water. Oh, so she spit out. Okay, because they make me feel like something spit out or there's something. So I thought <laughs> something's too hot or whatever. But anyways, just to let you know, I have spirit for her too. So nice female feeling around it. Okay. okay. Just to say hello. I almost get the feeling of like, I don't know if it's like 92 or um, 92, 1992 or September 2nd or 20th. But I keep on seeing 92, or it could be 2 9, like 1929 or February 9th. I don't know. But, anyways, I keep on seeing those numbers when we talk about that. So, just to let you know that. But if you were at Eastside Marios or Pat and Marios in the last week, definitely you have the energy of three around you. If you make me feel things are going to get better for you, not to worry so much. You worry about everybody. You do too much for everybody. Stop that. Okay. Just to take care of yourself, all right? Um, just a little bit more. I keep on seeing, like, um, I had pancakes today. So I keep on seeing, like, they just showed me pancakes or, like, a um, batter for, like, it could be for waffles or something, but I don't know why they're showing me that. Do you understand that? Yeah, yesterday for dessert we had, um, oh, it, it's like a pancake batter. Okay. I'm trying to think. 
funnel cake. That's what we have. But that's what they make me feel. There's something to do with that. But it's like, like not like what I had, but like it's like a, it looks like a pancake batter. And they make me feel they're around that. So if you were there, but this was a different place than, than Eastside Mario's, right? No, no, we had that yesterday at Eastside Mario's. Oh, so that's what you had at Eastside's. Okay, so that was the dessert? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a uh, it gets made with that pancake batter. Oh, okay, because it looks like uh, it looks like a waffle or a pancake, like liquid. That's that's what it looks like to me. But anyways, but they make me feel really happy around that. So they're around you quite a bit. Oh, and did you return a top? Or did uh, you return some no. clothes? Well, there's one sweater. There's one blouse I was thinking about returning back. Yeah, because they make me feel you're returning a top somehow, or a sweater, or a coat, like something that you wear with arms. Okay. Okay. But they make me feel like you're returning that. So, like for me, it's already returned. So it's like you try it on again. Oh, I don't like this, whatever. So they just make me feel you're returning it. So if you don't, they still come around you even though you wear that sweater. <laughs> so don't worry about them. I just want you to know that they're all happy on the other side, Carol. Don't worry about them so much, okay? There's a crab there too, someone that had a little bit of attitude that's there too. They're not like that anymore. They would have been like that here. So I have someone that had a little bit of a stern attitude on that side. So just to let you know that comes through with the bunch, okay? But uh, the thing is, for me, they're not like that. Once they go through, they don't have a human ego anymore. So they're super, super happy on the other side. You do talk to them. So I'm kind of glad that you do. There's one that you talk to a lot more than the other two. Okay. So they do make me feel that. So I'm pretty happy about that. Yes, your wishes will come true, but you have to believe that. You don't believe it. Okay. So somehow along the way, they make me feel that you stop dreaming a little bit. So don't do that to yourself, honey. You keep on dreaming. You keep on, you know, doing the things that you want to do. You keep on, you know, being who you are. They love you so much. So don't you worry about that. And I just really happy that you called in today. Well, I'm happy you picked me. Uh, <laughs> you made my day. Uh, well, listen, you take care of yourself and watch not to burn yourself on the sauce, okay? It's showing me, ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm a cook. That's my, my job. I'm a cook, so I get burnt often. Yeah, so ouch, just watch because they talk about your burnt lip or something. So just be careful. But anyways, you have a beautiful day, and I hope you have a great holiday season too, sweetie. You too. Merry Christmas. Same to you, honey. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There we go. Oh my God. I got to tell you, it's, it's 20 after five. I've gone for a little bit over an hour, but I want to thank every single one of you that come here. You know, whether you're skeptic doesn't really bother me because what people think of me is really none of my business. Whether you think that uh, I should look to God, I, I believe in something so much higher and something that, uh, that inspires me. So I'm hoping that you'll understand my gifts and my mother always said that a gift was God's influence flows through. And so I'm hoping that, um, you know, I bring you a sense of peace and a sense of closure with some of the messages that I brought here today. I'm hoping that you'll join me on Facebook. I have a great fan site. I actually have two of them. I have, um, I have facebook.com medium J lane forward slash medium J lane. And I have under facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash the messenger medium so if you want to join me on social media i'm more than happy to have you there uh, i'm super excited about so many great things if you want to catch up with me i am doing some updates to my website at mediumjaling.com go read about me i'm going to be doing shows across canada the u.s more or less in 2016 so i'm so excited to be able to do that i just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for helping me out, um, you know, on this journey and, you know, just for accepting who I am, you know, it was really hard for me to come out of my little spiritual closet, but now you can't shut me up. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this portion of the messaging medium here on Vlad.im. I'm hoping that this whole entire thing recorded, so I'll be posting it here and there, but I love you all so much and have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll probably be on again in another week or two. Take care. Bye-bye.